Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. If you guys have watched any of the vlogs, you'll probably know that it's kind of a running joke that I don't have any furniture in here. It's already been two months since I moved into this apartment and it still is extremely empty, but I do have a couple things. First up, I have this $19 table that I bought from Walmart about a couple weeks ago. Then we have this gray sofa that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace the day I moved in here and that's it. That's really it. And I'm fine living like this. Like I could live like this forever, but I realize if I ever wanna have like people over or just appear to be a sane, completely normal human, then I probably should get some more furniture and maybe put some stuff on the walls. Who knows? And what better place to get furniture than from Ikea? I've actually never been to an Ikea, so this will be my first time, which will be kind of fun. The closest Ikea is actually two and a half hours away, so it'll be a little bit of a drive. People make it sound so cool. I've always just wanted to walk around and see what it's like. And also try the meatballs. Always wanted to try those. So that's what we're doing today. Goodness, this place is huge. I'm gonna turn left here. Ikea, let's go. This place is massive. Made it to Ikea. That felt the most. I pray nobody saw that. That two and a half hour drive felt way longer than two and a half hours. It was also raining, so people were driving a lot slower. I need to pee so bad. When I'm saying this place is massive, I am not exaggerating. It's huge. Where's the entrance? Okay, there's the entrance. It's so big, they even have a parking garage. Walking into this place literally feels like walking into a mini city. Right in front of the door, there's an escalator that takes you to the second floor, which is the showroom floor. Ikea makes these model rooms using a bunch of their products to help people visualize how it would look in their own home. And the entire second floor is full of a bunch of these little mini rooms. All right, so I got a cart. I'm in the elevator. I legitimately just got lost for like 10 minutes walking around this place. It's so huge. I don't even know where to start. To be honest, I didn't really come here with a plan or much of a list of the things I needed to buy. I just wanted to show up and see if anything stood out to me. But at a place as big as Ikea, that strategy doesn't really work very well. I don't even know where to start. There's like so much here. All right, I guess I'm in the living room section. Lots of sofas, lots of couches. I ended up walking around the showroom a couple times just to get a look at everything before I started deciding on what I actually wanted to buy. The way the Ikea showroom works is that they have you go through this maze of rooms and different showcases, leading you through a bunch of different sections like the kitchen, bedroom section, bathroom section. It honestly felt a little bit like a museum with each section being a different exhibit. Looking back on this footage, I find it so funny that I was so scared to film in public even though I was one of the very few people in the entire store. That little plant was $50. $6. Okay, I think I need to just start with the simplest necessity, which is just a table. I'm in the table section. Very big, but I can't seem to find a table that I like. If I was gonna leave that Ikea with only one item, it would have to be a table, so I knew this decision was pretty important. I walked around the showcase, tried out the tables, you know, felt them out. I, I did not know what I was doing, but I narrowed my options down to these two tables. First up, the Ikea Giacomo. Small dining room table set with four chairs. It comes in this natural grayish wood tone that I think would look really good with the gray floors of my apartment, and it costs $200. And the second table is literally just the exact same thing, but in black. I couldn't decide between these two colors. I think both of them would look good. The black color would match with the table I already have in my living room, but then again, it kind of looks too plain. I was leaning more towards the natural wood table, but then when I texted my sister to get a second opinion, she said that she didn't think it would really match. So instead, I decided to put a pause in the table shopping for now and go and try the Swedish meatballs. The food here is so much more high quality than I expected. They even put like a little flag in one of the meatballs. After absolutely demolishing that plate of meatballs, I finally decided on what table I wanted. I decided to go with a lighter natural wood color because the black table would just be a little bit too boring. So I headed to the part of Ikea that they call the marketplace. It kind of feels like a giant Costco, except all of the shelves are full of boxes stacked on top of each other. So I found the aisles where the tables were and proceeded to try to get this giant box into my cart. And I was having trouble until this employee walked over. Hello, Monterey. 
Yeah, we're gonna lend you a hand. Um, I feel like that is just a losing battle. So he helped me load the box into this flat cart, which made it so much easier to move around. But now that I'd successfully found one piece of furniture that I could bring home, I wanted to get out of there. Paid my 200 bucks and got ready to walk out the door. It is raining so much. There's like a loading dock behind me. And so I'm gonna just bring my car and then try to load the table into it. It's still raining. Oh, it's so wet out here. All right, mission has been accomplished. After legitimately spending like three hours in there, I have the desk in the back. Now it's time to head back and set this thing up. I am so exhausted, man. Let's just hope I don't fall asleep while on the way back. This is way heavier than it looks. By the time I got back from Ikea yesterday, I was just so exhausted. I had driven for like six hours and walked around in Ikea for a good amount of the day. So the last thing I wanted to do was build a table. But once I started doing it, the table actually wasn't too hard to put together. The chairs, on the other hand, were a little bit more difficult. There were a lot of screws that you had to screw in the wood by hand, so it hurt. That's it. It hurt. <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys with more time lapses, so let's use some editing magic. That either turned out really good or really bad. But after forever, I finally have a table. It honestly feels so weird having a table in this space. I'm still not used to it. Now no one can leave comments saying I don't have a table anymore. If you guys have any other suggestions for stuff I should add to the apartment or literally anything, just leave them in the comments below. And I think that's it for this week's video. There's so many new vlogs coming up soon. April's gonna be a huge month. I'm gonna be traveling to Dallas, to Los Angeles. So keep an eye out for those vlogs. It's gonna be so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video and I will see you guys in the next one.